Yo, 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 figure review time. Now, way back when, in, in the old days, I did a review of the first set of Doctor Who Series 6 figures. Since I have been collecting most of the new toys, not all of them, but I will get to that, and I'm going to review, basically, quite quickly, all of the ones I have got since. So let's start nearer the time of the second wave of those figures. As you know, I've already talked about Idris, I've already talked about Uncle, I've already talked about The Silence, and I've talked about... Um, Cap Doctor and this monstrosity, Straight Jacket Doctor. Let's go on to River Song. Now, River Song came out, um, if I remember correctly, in this way first, and then with the Pandorica chair, which I also have. Uh, I might do a review of that. Ask me if you want one. Yeah. But the River Song uh, figure is pretty good. Nice mold of Alex Kingston. Decent uh, face. Hair's really good. I like the fact we finally got frizzy haired River. Uh, the alternate one that came with the Pandorica chair has full coat instead of just. The uh, sort of the jacket thing. Um, River comes with a gun and a really nice holster for the gun on the leg. Nice possibility. All in all, I would highly recommend this because unless you got River in her spacesuit uh, way back when, uh, the River song from uh, Sounds of the Library, Forest of the Dead, uh, you'll need a River like myself. So I've got this one. Uh, it's been released. Uh, twice, I think. Once with a flesh mask, which I don't really care for. I'll get to those in a minute. And uh, once recently with the revised hair, just a bit frizzier and on the face and everything, which I think I probably would have got that one had I known they were releasing al an alternative version. So, yeah, River Song, Wicked Figure. All we need now, character options, is a Rory, okay? Get us a Rory. All right, uh, also from that wave, uh, if I remember correctly, yep, yeah, it's um, the Doctor. A really nice new variant. Beautiful. I mean, that sculpt of Matt Smith is fantastic. Ages ago, when there was a little featurette for something online about Doctor Who toys, the one where the Paul McGann mould was spotted, there was a mould of Matt Smith that blatantly wasn't the version that I've actually got on the TARDIS back there, the one with the whiff of hair and the slightly dodgy troll face, I like to call it. It was this one. This figure is fantastic. I like the fact the hair is a separate piece they've added on. Because it looks much cooler giving him his fringe. Nice variation with the uh, blue shirt and tie. We still don't have Series 5 with the blue tie unless you got it from Toys R Us exclusive. Sonic screwdriver accessory. Possibility is great. Notable for two things this wave, really. I've got two of this guy, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, finally, we get a current Doctor with a uh, pin and socket joint. Yay! So that all the Doctors and most of the figures of the first few waves of the 2005 figures onwards um, had just, you know, a swivel. But now they've got a pin and socket, which is fantastic. Um, because it means the Doctor can do more things than just stand with his arms by his side or slightly out. Bad thing about these waves, and I'll mention this on other figures as I come to them, the... Um, Oh, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. I think you could, quality control is a little lacking. I find more problems in these figures than I have done in previous years. This is a bit wobbly, but that can happen. But look at that. The uh, pin that goes through to make the leg articulation hasn't gone through both parts and because of that has split it open. Now, character options are normally quite good for this, so I'm hoping that this is just a, a bit of misfortune with the recent figures. But, um, yeah, let's hope it doesn't continue. On the plus side, the mould is absolutely fantastic. I love the new Matt Smith face. I think it's brilliant. Keep doing it, character options. Now, tying in with this figure, we have... The Flesh Doctor, the Ganga version, which uh, the fringe seems a little more pinned back. Um, but it's brilliant, I've got him posed already. He's got the brown boots, like in the story. And it was a nice accompaniment to come out the same wave as this one. So you've got two Doctors. Awesome. Really cool idea. They've since released a squishy version, uh, which looks the same. So I'd, I'd probably recommend that one for the novelty, really. Squishy version. Um... One thing I will say is a bit stupid, these figures have got the novelty of having flesh masks, which I really don't like. Um, look at that. So you've got the flesh mask for the Doctor, so we tuck it under his fringe, don't put too much pressure on because the mould's nice. There's his flesh mask. But if we take that off him, I've got to make sure he stands okay because of course he is damaged. 
Um, they, get, they came with one for the Flesh Doctor as well. Is that a bit pointless or is it just me? I think it's a bit pointless. So yeah, Flesh Doctor, highly recommend. Blue Shirt Doctor, highly recommend. The other one in that wave was... The Astronaut. Now, this came with a flesh mask too for the face and side. A bit pointless because you can't really fit it on. But it's an impressive figure. It's a very heavy figure. It's a big figure. It's imposing. It's scary. It looks cool. Details are a bit crap, in all honesty. Like, the badges and everything, they've just sort of block-coloured them. But I'm not complaining because the articulation for the figure is lumbering and... Um, it looked powerful because it's big. So the articulation should really be kept to a minimal. Um, it's great. I do like it. A bit plain, like I say. The one thing that really lets it down is the little girl face. I don't remember the girl looking quite so much like a creepy doll. In fact, that's terrifying. So I think I'm just going to keep this closed. I think it's less scary as a scary spaceman. Um, since they have re-released this as a carded figure, single carded figure without a packet of flesh or a flesh mask, as just the astronaut or the impossible astronaut, if you buy that version, this terrifying face has been replaced with an adult River Song. It's based on the last episode of Series 6 on the wedding of River Song. I'd recommend getting that version, but definitely get the astronaut. Now... Each of these came with something called a packet of flesh. One second. I shall grab me some flesh. Oh, yes. Here it is. A lot of these came with a packet of the flesh. I've yet to open any of them, but it feels gross. Uh, character options are going for novelties, which worries me because it should always go for the quality first. Um, coming with novelties is a bit worrying it makes it seem like they're trying to over, like they're trying to compensate for something same with a lot of the classics some of the classics figures being re-released with autograph cards inside them um luckily the two in question so far the city of death set and the leela have been brilliant but i really hope it isn't a sign of things to come now the next wave after that if i remember correctly was cybermen um two variations of damaged cybermen i won't get them both out but they're there. Uh, one I think says something like chest damage, and one that says like face damage or something. I think this is the face damage because he's got bolted cheek. Great variations. We're finally getting the Cybermen without the Cybus Industries logo. Again, these figures have always been very good. The Cybermen figures, limited movement, but not in a way. You know, not put it this way: the, the, the movement that you lose is not movement you'd have your Cybermen do anyway. So, highly recommend both of them. That one just comes as is. Uh, this one comes with the head of another Cyberman opened, which is a nice variation on the skull from the Pandorica version. Um, also in that wave was the Peg Doll. I would have liked to have seen more of these because it is a nice figure uh, from uh, Night Terrors. Um, pin and socket joint, apart from this arm, which is a nice clever twist. It's uh, This arm is rope, so it's literally made with a bit of wibbly rubber which looks quite cool and quite creepy. Very nice figure. Face could have had more detail, it's very plain, it's just scuffed. It would be nice to have material maybe that was scuffed. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe little rivets in it and stuff. But again, nice figure, worth picking up if you're a fan of that story, which I am. So there, <laughs> Yabu sucks to you. Also in that wave uh, was, and again, I'm trying to remember if I got this right. Oh yes, the, the Cybermen came with flesh masks. Really stupid, if you ask me, because they were child-sized. They just kind of fit over half of the face. But that wave also came with a variation of the blue shirt doctor. White shirt. To go along more, I guess, as a companion figure to the Doctor with the Stetson from The Impossible Astronaut. So you've got a Doctor as he was for most of the series. Uh, which is brilliant. This is one of my favourites. I absolutely adore this Doctor. I think... I think I'm going to go so far as to say it is the best Matt Smith figure so far. So if you want a definitive Matt Smith figure, pick up this bad boy. Brilliant figure. Now the latest wave came with some variations. The astronaut with River Song's face is one of them. Uh, but the majority of them were previously released figures with a tweak. Uh, before I get onto those though, before I forget, another figure I bought was a 20 pack of... Cybermat. Now, 
I looked for these on discount because I did not want to pay $9.99 or more for 20 of these. But you do get different variations of the cyber mat. Open mouth, closed mouth, basic. Worth picking up if you really want to expand your cyber army, which I do. Anyway, the new set comes with a couple of Cybermen figures, if I remember correctly. Both of them with electric hands. How cool does that look? Answer, very. Uh, the electric hands slide on and off. You literally uh, can pop them into place. Which is nice because it means any other Cybermen you've got so far with... I have to put this back on with two hands. Any other Cybermen you've got with open palm can have the electric hands. Which is brilliant because, you know, it means it's not limited to the new figures. I can't seem to get the electricity to stay on because I'm doing this whilst leaning on one arm. <laughs> oh, God. Um, it seems nice that character options are releasing figures... Uh, variant figures like this because it basically means that if you haven't picked them up so far and as Christmas is rolling around you're getting close to getting a new Doctor Who figure or some new Doctor Who figures or your army building like myself with the Cybermen then you are not spoiled for choice oh so you are spoiled for choice um, because you're not just you know seeing the same old thing it's not like they're releasing the same figures because they are finding new ways of making them exciting. Sometimes it's a bit unfortunate because they release them shortly after releasing the originals and you kind of feel like you've gone for a plain option. For example, Idris has been released since with a load of um, the psychic cubes, the time lord cubes, of course much smaller than that one. Um, and I would have loved that because of course Idris came with Nout. So, uh, yeah, but the Cybermen ones are fine because, of course, they're army builders. Now, here's the next one in that range, and the last one I'm going to talk about today. Silent, with electric hands. It's uh, the grey scale Silent, which I already had. I don't really like the peach ones. Uh, I just think these look creepier. It's the grey scale Silent. Uh, same posability, fantastic. Except, this time, they have tiny hands. Tiny little hands. Fact. If I can just show you. Yep, the new ones have got tiny hands. They're dodgy reproductive organ hands because um, of the electricity. I'm cautious about taking this off now. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, what happens with all the electricity things is they're built so they can just slide on. And these are quite nice, actually. They're all rubbery and quite see through, so they look cool. So you've got your silent and you just slap on the old. Uh, Electric hounds, although to be fair with the silent, it's better to slide it on like that. With the silent, because you have to really slide it on, it offers an advantage over the Cybermen because the Cybermen has to sort of clip onto the molded hand. Since the silence can slide on, I have taken advantage of that, and even with the bigger dodgy hand silence that have been previously released, which are amazing figures, with a bit of push in, you can slide the electricity onto the hand. So it doesn't need to be the new variant. Because, of course, I wanted a silent with an open mouth going, firing electricity. And I couldn't get one like that because they've only released the closed mouth one with electric. But you slide it on. Um, it probably won't go back onto the other one's hand now. But I think a silent with two electric hands would be a bit greedy. Anyway, I'm rambling. Point is that this is for all of you who are asking about Series 6 figures and what to get. Highly recommend them. The only ones I'm a bit let down on is the Astronaut, because the new vari variant's much better. And I will say this. Look out for those figures. Be very careful when picking them, because the quality control has been so-so on these ranges. So look into that box when you're picking them up. Check the joints. Check the paint for scuffs. Everything. Apart from that, Wicked. Keep them coming, character options. And I... I'm so looking forward to more figures in the future. One thing, Rory. Where the hell is Rory? I'll leave it at that. Okay, guys. Hope those who asked for this enjoyed it. Hope those who didn't ask for this won't moan and skip past... Wait! No! One more figure! Plain Cybermen. Non-damaged. I totally forgot about these. Fantastic. No damage to these Cybermen whatsoever. They're brand new Cybermen. Lovely paint. It's darker than the normal ones, just ever so slightly. 
uh, the face on this one's got a bit of an overbite, strangely. But they come with the guns. Finally, a Cyberman figure with the gun made for it. I've been using Mickey's gun so far, because it's the same thing. But there we go. So there's, uh, I've got two of these bad boys. Uh, I think a couple of variations have been released. Anyway, yeah, again, brilliant figure. If you're a Cyberman army builder, pick up as many of these bad boys as you can. Uh, if you love your doctors, that is my recommendation for the finest one they have ever done. Okay, peace out. This is a long video. Goodbye. Ah.